Hello, everybody! And basically, it's 6 o'clock in, in the morning. I haven't basically had enough sleep. But I don't care because basically, entertaining you is more, more important than my sleep, basically. So I probably stay up all day, probably, maybe. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, if you guys have a have that this problem, like, because. When I was using my other remote, my Xbox Series remote, the Xbox just kept moving like like this, like back and forth, like you know, like left. So I had to use my, I had to basically uh to fix that situation. I had to use my Xbox One controller to reconnect to my Xbox Series X. And basically, I'm getting um the Hogwarts Legacy today, which I cannot wait to um to play. So yeah. Stay tuned for that, and uh, for later on, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, let's go and play, Let, let's do another episode of Summer Max and the World. And that's because, yeah, I really want to play it, and yeah. I just want to like, play Summer Max and the World, and, and that, so, yeah. I mean, I did, I did the episode yesterday, but, um, yeah, now I can, like, just control it properly. Because uh, the game... I don't know. Because my Xbox has just been weird. My Xbox Series X remote has been just been weird. It's not like me, like, control... Me, so, I don't know. It's like a, an Xbox glitch or something or something. Well, I'm going to call it, like, an Xbox glitch because, yeah... Okay, so we need to use the. I know one way to get a burning hot. The microwave. Success. This little orange, nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. And yeah, so we need to somehow get the money for Bosco and uh, uh, that as well. And um, but uh, um, yeah, we will figure out that and uh, what it comes. I think I know how to do it on this episode. Where we we, I don't know. I can't remember. I mean, I might remember if I can remember. But um, I. I you know, I'll get I get to uh, as soon as I Oh yeah, because Max has got um um a thing from over here that I give him and yeah, so we need to show Super Bowl. Let us see. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Thank you. Look, Max, 
is the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? Is this helping you? Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? Well, yes, but now I'm working on gastrokinesis. The ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. Can you teach us? and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. Well, if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Throw was up. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863. Right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. What's your problem? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. So why are you upset? Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. We, have to we can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Hold on, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Sybil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. I got a need for bit. I got needs, baby. I may be made of stone, but your love is my chisel. Uh, aren't you married? Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former First Ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. How can you head from love? How can you expect to have a complete relationship with someone when you're, well, missing some key sub-neck accoutrements? What? How you gonna make time with the ladies, A.L.? You're just ahead! Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. Let's try chemistry, because I'm having an explosive reaction. The formula, Lincoln plus Sybil equals ecstasy. Hmm. If you think I'm that... Alright. Hi. I am issuing you a Romancipation Proclamation. Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Just relax, Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. You got baby that won't 
you got a body that 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 won't quit. Woman, you got a body that just won't quit. That may have worked in the 1800s, Abe, but it just shows how little you know me. some needles and ink and I'll give you something to remember me by. Maybe if it were six months ago, Abe. I've matured past that now. Oh, rats. What? Hello? I so shit. Just... Because he's wanting swallowed something that we need, and to get that, uh, we need to make him throw up. So, Max, come over here. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that! For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the screen? 
spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Where are we headed now, Sam? Earth. All right, so now we got that, we can now uh, get Jimmy T to move off thingy, um, off base. Yeah, so Monday, uh, Monday I basically spend some time with my friends, uh, Curtis and Sam, and I met someone, make some new friends, um, called Tim and Joe. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, just, like, drunk. Just had, like, uh, some drunk with my friends, so, oh, Oh, 
How's life on the moon? How's life on the moon treating you? A dusty wasteland in the cold of space. A shining oasis in the dark. One brilliant leader. This spring you'll believe in the triumph of the computerized spirit. Plus we get free snacks. I hunger! What will you do next? So long, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hey, cops. What are you guys going to do once you're done with prismatology? Online distribution. It's going to be huge. Okay, Max and I will try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048, in a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant... I am a deep... Tech! Tech! I will destroy you! Use it to 
break a tail. Mm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living voice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <laughs> go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo, 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 go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh my. So happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytail freak show. I want to have his love charm. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. Jump on the right already so I can shoot it. It's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true! I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Somehow get the um, money to boss. Eat up for you so big and strong. 
What is the world coming to? Bosco, pass the knobs. Aisle four. Oh, oh my. That one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthy stomach any longer, Sam. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating cocoa nougat butterballs again. Excuse me, Mr. Vice Manifestation. You look to me. Look, pal, I need your stomach so I can put my body back together. Hand it over and only one of us gets hurt. I can't resist the rich, meaty taste of dog and rabbit. Well, here we are in your stomach. What the hell did I just step in? I'm enjoying the womb-like meditative quality of the pyloric sphincter. Darn it. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. Something tells me I'm going to be smelling that for the rest of my life. Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you going to eat that? Well, I suppose I can share. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Hey, I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. Hey, Bosco's mom. Huh? What? Oh. Identity. We will. Hey. One or a hundred trillion, please. But Bosco, aren't you feeling generous? Yes, but I need the money for my poor sick mother. Hmm. Yep. Bye. Help me out with something. I need a hundred trillion dollars. Pity we already sold your baseball card collection to buy that kidney for your Uncle Rollo. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted it for. Oh, I still... What if we sold your body to science? I was hoping to be buried in it. Well, I'm sure we've got... No. Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, no. And I'm perfectly happy, so. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine dreams and aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. This is horrific. Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and tranquility, I... I hope. How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Simply wonderful. Isn't that right, Abraham? P pretty lady. Yes. Uh... It's so... Oh, <laughs> You too. So, 